Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought we could do a declutter. Ignore my hair. <laughs> it's still wet from last night. Um, anyways, don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and also turn on the bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a brand new video, and let's get started. Okay, so this behind me is how I store my makeup. It's just one of these little cheap wire-like cube things. And then I bought these cubes off of Amazon, but I think they lied about the sizing on Amazon because these are way smaller than I thought they were going to be. Now I'm sure that most of my makeup is expired. Like normal people, I hate how people act like it's such a like <gasps> thing because like at least when I was growing up nobody really talked about expiration dates on anything. So I'm sitting on the floor. I have one, two, three, four, five, six bins. This one down here, though, is like my like throwaways, like the makeup I don't like. Let me, oh, let me zoom you out so you can see. Okay, so this bin down here, like I said, is my throwaways, the makeup I don't like. So this one's gonna be easy to get rid of. So I'll probably use this bin to put all of the like throw away, donate whatever makeup in. So that way I'm not like using up a trash can or trash bag, whatever. Okay, so if you see stains all over the floor, please ignore it. This used to be my little brother's room and you know how boys are. Okay, so this is my quote unquote like bad bin. I'm gonna pull everything out to like tell you each thing and then I'm gonna put it all back in. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put it all back in so I can keep putting all the bad stuff in here. But I have this highlighter from Juvia's Place. I just I didn't like it personally, it just wasn't for me. This highlighter from Grande Glow, plumping liquid highlighter. I did not like this at all. Honestly, I don't remember why, but I just, I know I don't like it. You can go back and look at the video on this. I think it was a BoxyCharm video. Got this Zoeva lip pencil. I think I didn't like this because it was too creamy. Like, it just went everywhere, if I remember correctly. This, oh god, I remember this one. It, I can't remember what it came in or wh how I got it. Hello, sir. <laughs> go on, silly. But I got this and I absolutely could not stand the color. I, if I thought it was hideous, to be honest with you. Of course, the dollar. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> he thinks these are treats or something. The dollar eyeshadow palette. Do not like this at all. It was just all shimmers. I think I got this one thinking that it would be a matte shadow. And it was a shimmer. Didn't like it. This was a really, really blingy, glittery highlight. But I'm not... He's bumping my damn camera. I'm not too much into the glittery highlights. This mascara literally did nothing. Oh, it's the Give Them La La Beauty. This is Billion Dollar Brows Brow Pencil. I did not like this at all. I don't remember why, to be honest with you. But I think it was in my Dollar Tree video as well. This one was an eyeshadow palette that I let Brady choose. And the shadows were so horrible that I had like a mental breakdown using it. Stop! <laughs> But, um, yeah, I did not like this at all. Color corrector, I just, I don't need a color corrector, plus I've had this for a very, very long time is why it's in here. This foundation, absolutely could not stand it. I got it on sale at Sephora, the Becca foundation, and I just didn't like it at all. I don't, this concealer, the Hello Fab, um, yeah, concealer, it just, it did nothing from First Aid Beauty. This is a Becca setting powder. It literally turned my under eyes orange, so don't like this. Oh, this is a tinted brow gel, but it's in the shade blonde, so like, has no use for me. I think I actually got this in one of my BoxyCharm boxes, maybe, but I may give it to uh, like my sister-in-law because she has blonde hair and I do not. This concealer, we already know what the tea was. Don't like it at all. Maybe I'll try it in the future in my correct shade with her under eye primer to see if that helps something, but as of right now, I can't stand it. This is the Becca Love Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. I don't remember what I thought about it, to be honest with you, but it's in here for a reason, and I'm pretty sure I did a video on this. I think it was my TJ Maxx video, 
so definitely check that one out. This, I think I just got it in the wrong colors, but it was my Ulta, full face of Ulta Beauty. Uh, you can check that video out as well to see why I didn't like this one. Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara just didn't do anything for me. The setting spray I got from the Dollar Tree, I just, I didn't see a difference from it, so that's why it's in here. Liquid eyeliner, I don't like eyeliners like this where you have to like dip it into the product to get it. I think this was from Dollar Tree as well. This little stick I did a video on, I think it was a BoxyCharm video, and it just didn't blend at all, and it like peeled up when I tried to blend shadow over top of it. The e.l.f. Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner, did not like the shape of it at all. Okay, so this is a brow pencil from the Dollar Tree. I don't like, like, sharpenable brow pencils, plus I didn't like the color of it, and yeah. Also, it doesn't come with a spoolie, so. This is the Ulta Beauty Luxe Liquid Lipstick. I did not like the color of this, but I also don't like the texture of it because it's, like, really sticky and stuff like that. Got these uh, LA Color Contour Sticks. Uh, these are from the Dollar Tree video as well. They did not blend well. They just, it didn't look good at all, so. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in here. As you can see, it's, like, piling over here. Okay, so, not quite sure what all is in this box, to be honest with you. I think it's mostly lashes, but I'm not quite sure. I've got these that I haven't even tried yet. The Eyelore London, um, like, lash extension kit. So, I'm, I'm still gonna try this out. This is my Lava Lashes. I actually really love this pair, and I need to get some more. These are the, uh, uh Style Flirty. These are super great. These, I don't even know <laughs> what they are. I don't have the box for them, but they don't look super, super used, so I'm probably going to keep them. Oh, the Eyelore Magnetic magnetic Lashes. I do not like these, so I will be getting rid of these. Um, Iconic Light from House of Lashes. I didn't like these. They just looked super, super fake, you know what I mean? Like, they just look super plasticky, so I'm going to get rid of these. I've got Miami Light. These are super pretty. I don't know that I'm going to keep them though because it looks like they're super, super used. If you don't know with false lashes, most of the time, like the good brands, you can reuse them like 30-ish times before you have to get rid of them as long as you keep like good care of them. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these only because they look like they're super used. Oh, I still need to do a video on these. These are the Aqua Lashes from Ardell. They are like no adhesive needed. You just dip it in a little bit of water and then apply them to your eyes. So I really do need to try these. Oh, I have concealers in here too. It tells you how often I go through my stash. These are my uh, lashes from um, BH Cosmetics, the Iggy Azalea collab. I think I like these a lot and I don't think I've used these hardly at all to be honest with you so I'm gonna keep them and try them one more time to see if I actually do like them um this concealer I didn't like too much uh so I'll be getting rid of it plus I know it's super old I did not like the setting spray at all it spits at you or at least in my case it spat at me and it has a very very heavy scent so we're getting rid of that um, this concealer is way, way too dark. I think actually somebody left this at my house because I did their makeup for them. And they left it at my house. And I just kind of kept it just in case they came back. So, definitely getting rid of that. This guy is super old and almost all the way gone. It's a really good concealer though. Uh, so, I'm going to be getting rid of this one. My Tarte Shape Tape. I know for sure <laughs> this one's way old. Um, I've got some Demi Wispies here. These actually look brand new, so that's awesome. I'm going to keep those. I have the Ulta concealer, which I don't think is too old, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. This one I do believe is super old as well, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I got this shade so I can contour with it. Um, okay, random lashes that I don't know <laughs> what they are, so I'm going to get rid of these. Um, this one I know for sure is super, super old. It's like even like separated. I can see it in the bottle. That's gross. So the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer I'm getting rid of. And then I have these lashes. Um, these are Goddess. 
These are Lux and these are Opulence. I think Opulence are still good. Uh, Goddess looks like they're just, they're done for, so we're going to get rid of those. Yeah, these look like they're all used and abused, the Lux, so I'm going to get rid of these as well. And I'm going to keep these. This isn't all of my makeup, by the way, all the stuff in these bins. I do have stuff on my desk that I use all the time. This would be one of the ones that I was dreading because, as you can see, I have stuff like Dior Air Flash that I've had for a very long time. It wasn't a bad foundation, it's just super expired. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Okay, so the RCMA foundation, I'm going to be getting rid of this one because I did not like it and it did not work for my skin. This is the Dewy and Smooth Fit Me foundation. I'm going to be getting rid of this one. I think actually this is another thing that they bought for me to do their makeup and they just left it here. Like, We're going to be getting rid of the Juvia's Place foundation because I did get the absolutely wrong shade for me. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one. Um, the Catrice True Skin, I think I actually did like this one and I don't think it's old. So I'm going to keep it. Uh, camo CC cream I do like this one a lot I think I actually got the wrong shade though but I'm gonna double check on that before I get rid of it the honest beauty uh, tinted moisturizer I do not like this one and it is super old too so it's probably best to get rid of it the Ulta Beauty effortless effect medium coverage hydrating foundation I'm gonna check back on my video to see whether or not I like this or not because I can't remember the Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation. I do like this foundation, so I'm going to be keeping it. And I know it's not too old or anything. This foundation looks like it's split. It's a really good foundation, though. I do recommend this one. The L'Oreal uh, Infallible Freshwear. But I think I'm going to get rid of it. I do have two other bottles on my desk, so... Yeah. <laughs> the Superstay uh, Foundation. It's just super old. Now, I honestly don't even remember what I thought about it, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Oh, I have primers in here, too. This is the uh, BB um, foundation, whatever, from the dollar store. I'm going to get rid of this one. The uh, Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, I do like this one, and I know it's not too old, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I do have the Uoma foundation. I don't remember what I thought about this one as well, so I'm going to keep it and try it again. This I know is super old, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. The Tatcha Silk Canvas. I do like it though. The Cover FX Gripping Primer. It's super dirty and gross, but this is a really good one. The Hangover. I don't remember what I thought about it, but I do know it's super old, so I'm getting rid of this as well. That is going to be the trend of this video. A lot of it's going to be super old, so I do apologize ahead for the repetition. The Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. I don't know. I don't like it, so I'm going to get rid of it. And then we have the Mattifying Face Primer from Ulta Beauty. I did not like this, so I'm going to get rid of it. I think I didn't like it, so I'm going to get rid of it. And that's this whole tub. I feel like I'm going to be getting rid of, like, all of my liquid products because, like, it's bad. I have way too many that I just, I've never thrown away. Okay, so the ColourPop stuff that I just got, I'm going to keep which includes these three Super Shock Shadows and the Little Bitty Palette. Super pretty. I love it. I really do like this palette as well. The ABH Norvina one looks like that. So I'm going to keep that. This palette by Juvia's Place is super cute, super pigmented, works really well, so I'm going to keep it as well. This is the Laura Geller eyeshadow palette that I used in a video once. I like it, so I'm, I'm going to keep it. I don't have... A bunch like the normal youtubers so I'm not too worried about like narrowing down my collection because I don't have that much you know what I mean I have the blood sugar palette I'm gonna be getting rid of this not because the quality is bad or any of the BS with Jeffree Star it's just I genuinely don't use this palette ever the only time I try to use it is when I try to use the white and even then I don't I don't use white that often so I'm gonna get rid of it this is the Mean Girls palette. I will be keeping it uh, because I haven't dipped into every single one of the colors and also for nostalgia reason reasons. This is the Electric Blue Profusion palette. This one's super pretty. I do like it a lot. 
It does have some similar shades as the Totally Plastic um, collection with Iggy Azalea, but this one does have some um, browns and stuff here. Let me... Okay, so that's both of them compared. I mean, maybe this one and this one could be similar, but that one's shimmery. Uh, yeah, honestly, I don't see ones that exactly match each other, so I'm just, I'm going to keep both, because why not? I also have the Jackie Ina Anastasia collab. I, of course, want to support Jackie Ina, but I also really loved the, like, green shades that she has in here. Super, super pretty and super pigmented. I love this palette. Okay, here's another one. Don't judge this. The inside of this looks like crap because I let little kids do my makeup with this and they tore it up okay I'm not even gonna lie they tore it up but I didn't care for them to use this because I did not like the color story in this palette it looks like this <laughs> it's it's so bad <laughs> I let them go ham okay but yeah I just I didn't like the color story so I'm gonna get rid of this one all right this is my Jaclyn Hill palette the first one we all know what it looks like, but I am going to keep it because I really do like it. This is my Milani, I think it's like Master Mattes or lo Most Loved Mattes. I really like this one. Performs very well. I do have this Jeffree Star palette that somebody got me for Christmas from Morphe. That's what the inside looks like. I don't, I need to play with this more because the one or two times that I've played with it, I didn't necessarily like it, so I'm going to play with it more to see if it's a meat issue or if it's the palette issue, because I do notice that some of Morphe's palettes I do not like. Then I got this Ulta Beauty palette. Looks like this. It's super pretty. I don't really have a reason to get rid of it, so I'm, maybe I'm not going to. I don't know. I'll think on that one. And then we have Truth or Bear. This is one of the palettes that I got from TJ Maxx. It looks like this, but I already have literally all of these shades, and this palette just doesn't excite me at all, so I'm going to get rid of it. I also have my Laura Lee, Laura, yeah, Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. Looks like this, super bright, super pigmented. I'm going to keep it because I don't, I don't think I have any other shades like these. I mean, maybe, but it's it's whatever. This is the Vesca Cream Eyeshadow. I think I liked this, so I'm going to keep it as well. And then we also have this little Pinky Rose Eye Stick, and I do remember liking this, so I will keep this one. Now, face powders, I'm not too hell-bent on getting rid of a bunch, except for this one. I know I don't like this one. It's the Anastasia one. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Um... I think I liked this loose highlighter, so I'm going to keep it. This was really good, the Totally Plastic uh, Face Palette. Um, I have this palette as well, so I think I'll keep it maybe. I'm going to put it in a maybe pile. This I've had for, ew, it's got, it's got glue on it. Ignore that. This is my Fenty blotting powder looks like this i've had it for a very long time but it works outstandingly so i'm gonna keep it i have this master contour palette i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because i have the other face palettes which you know i don't need a bunch of face palettes i have the mark jacobs fantastic uh bronzer Super nice, super pretty. I'm going to keep this one. Got the Butter Bronzer. This is a nice bronzer as well, and it smells fabulous. So, I've got this blush, but I think I'm going to get rid of it because it's like neon pink, and I don't see myself reaching for it all the time. My camera cut off, and I don't know where I was at, but I have this Too Faced setting powder I'm going to keep. I have this Oni, on <laughs> Honest Beauty blush that I've used and abused so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it because I know it's old. I have this Dragon Beauty uh, brightening powder. I think I like this so I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I have also the Dragon Beauty setting powder in translucent. I'm gonna give this one another try to see if I like it or not because again I can't remember it's been so long. I buy a bunch of stuff and then, like, I don't, if I don't use it for a while, like, how all this stuff is in my bins, 
I just I forget what I have okay this is the L'Oreal infallible fresh wear foundation powder I do not like this so I'm gonna get rid of it this is the half baked blush I think I did like this one I just didn't like the brush that came with it for it so I'm gonna keep this uh, the Jeffree Star setting powder I genuinely just didn't like it I don't think so I'm gonna get rid of it master chrome I'm just out of this stage I don't I don't need a bright ass highlight like this anymore these are really good though if you want something super metallic and bold this is a brand new cream bronzer from Jaclyn Cosmetics so of course I'm gonna keep it but it also is a very good product the Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade, I do believe, is super old, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. This blush, I have bunches of blushes that look like this, so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of her. This one's from the Dollar Tree. Um, this again, it's from the Dollar Tree. It's the bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it as well because I have quite a bit of bronzers already, and I don't need a bunch like this because, like... I have this Jouer blusher kit. I think I'm going to keep for a little while longer. It's super pretty. I have this Jeffree Star blue ass like highlight that I'm going to get rid of because like when am I going to when am I going to wear a blue highlight? The only time I've used this literally one time was for an eyeshadow look. I also have this Ulta Beauty translucent setting powder that I'm I'm going to get rid of. I don't like this. Okay, so this is the drawer that I have been dreading because it's not that much, but this is most of my lipstick and I'm 95% sure that most of this is expired and it should be nowhere near my face. <laughs> okay, this little guy, I know it's expired, so I'm going to get rid of it. This guy, I did not like. It's the um, It's Complicated Lip Tint Oil and Gloss by Uoma. Uh, all of my Jeffree Star stuff, because I stopped buying stuff from him a long time ago, I know is just all of it's expired. So we're just going to go ahead and immediately grab out all of his stuff. I also have these three lipsticks from Jaclyn Cosmetics. Part of me wants to keep them, so when and if she comes out with new ones, I can compare I actually really did love her formulas and her colors in these were stunning so I really need to go on the hunt for really good colors like this so I think not for usage I am gonna keep these so that I can compare them if she does come out with newer ones this concealer I don't know why it's in here but I do remember that it was super super sheer and covered nothing Ardell Mega Volume Mascara. I assume I didn't like it because it's still in here. All the mascaras that I use and that I like and reach for are up on my desk. So all of the mascaras in here I'm going to get rid of. The Bite one wasn't bad, so I'm, I'm actually going to keep this one because I did just get it. So this one's not a bad mascara. Duo Lash Glue and Liner. This is another thing that that girl left at my house, so getting rid of that as well. Marc Jacobs Little Like Sample Liner. I don't, I don't know when I got this, so we're going to get rid of that. The Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, the waterproof one is good, but I know this is expired as well. Um, this one I just didn't like, to be honest with you, so we're going to get rid of that. This liquid lipstick, I did not like. It was super sticky and tacky and I could not freaking stand it, so we're getting rid of it. Um, I think all of these are bad. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these. These like little glitter eyeshadow things. They're good. I like the quality of them. It's just I know they're stupid expired. And I don't want pink eye. So this one I know is super old. Smashbox liquid lipstick. Getting rid of it. I know this concealer is super old as well. It's a very good concealer. It's just old. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. It's a little like mini of uh, this mascara. And I haven't even opened it yet, so. This lipstick I know is good. The Juvia's Place, uh, I think it's called Doo Doo. I don't, I don't know. D-U-D-U. -D -U. Let me keep that one. I know I just got this one. And I don't remember if I liked it or not, so I'm going to keep it and try it again. This I know is stupid fucking old. Oh, excuse my language. It's stupid old, but it's really good. Um, so I might get a new one, but I'm going to get rid of this one. 
And then I have all of these Laura Lee Los Angeles lipsticks. I do very much like her stuff. It's just, I know they are so old. So I'm going to have to get rid of all of these. Which hurts my heart. But you know, we just, I have to do it. I know. So look forward to <laughs> a makeup haul very soon because I'm left with nothing. This is all of the makeup I'm getting rid of. Holy crap. This is like heavy. Like heavy, heavy. Heavier than my dog. Okay, like that's ridiculous. Ugh. Okay, so this is uh, me at my desk. I wanted to show you guys like the whole shebang on my desk. It's honestly ridiculous. Like don't look at it. Don't look at it. It looks so bad. But I just, I just wanted to show you that like I'm not getting rid of all of my makeup I still have all of this you know what I mean so I might set you up and like straighten this up and then we'll be done okay so hopefully the lighting's okay because we are like the windows behind me I went ahead and turned off this light so like maybe it'll be easier for you guys to see me or see the desk I should say but let's start cleaning all of this will probably be like sped up so that way you don't have to worry about it know for a fact that this is like stupid old so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this as well it's um I don't even remember the brand but like that's what it is I just bought this little uh, drawer system from Walmart, by the way, if you guys need one. I have this powder too, the CoverGirl uh, Advanced Radius, a Advanced Radiance that I'm trying to decide on whether or not I like it. These are very good, the Fit Me uh, Loose Setting Powders. getting rid of this or these two liners I have the benefit roller liner I just don't like it and then my Maybelline um, hyper easy brush tip liner I do like this but I fucked up the tip of it in my last video so I'm gonna have to get a new one I do also have this Beauty and the Beast palette and uh, lip gloss that I do need to try out. So maybe I'll try it in my next video. Um, really nothing special about these that like called my name. It's just I really like Beauty and the Beast. My favorite Disney princess or whatever is um, Belle personally. So... Okay guys, that completes this video of me getting rid of all of my shit it seems like. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and also turn on the bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!